This is a quick tip on how to use the Direct Retro Calculation Workbook. This workbook was created to assist uh, when calculating a partial period direct retro. The UCPath Composite Benefit Rate Summary is on the right for your reference and also the URL where that information is housed. So for this example, I'm going to use the salary you would put the employee name here and the salary pay period ending date or month here on this uh, cell on 6A. Um, for this example, we're going to say that the salary that we're using is for the pay period. And I'm not putting an ending date, but you could say October 2022. And the amount that this employee was paid is $799.60. So I'm going to enter that into the yellow box. And then I'm going to make sure that the benefit rate is correct. And for this employee, it is actually 57, which is 57%. The SB28 rate you're going to leave, it's automatically calculating the amount that would be moved, but we only want to move $389.33. That's what we want. That's our goal. And so in this, as you can see, there are comments that come up and help you to understand what to do if you have a question. But we're going to type in 389.33. But if we run this button, Goal Seek, you'll see that it automatically calculates the amount of salary you need to move in order to get the goal, intended goal for the direct direct retro, which is 389.33. So that's basically how you use this sheet. Now, if you have um, a direct retro and it has Gale insurance in it, you can also do the same thing, which we'll use the same um, example that we have over here, just to make it consistent so you can see the difference. So the salary for the pay period is going to be 799.60. That's the amount that the employee got paid in that pay period. And we're going to change the benefit rate to 57 because they're non-exempt staff. The Gale rate is already uh, calculated in here. And we still want to move 389.33. So we're going to type in 389.33. And as I said, nothing changes here until we run this. Uh, button which says run goal seek. And once you do that, it calculates the amount of salary you should move in your direct retro to have the benefits follow. And that is how you use this workbook.